Hello. Hello class, welcome to audio modding for nerds. Hello nerds. Uh, I'm gonna be making an audio modding tutorial for FNAF AR now, I guess. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really in a rush to do this because, you know, once you tell people how to audio mod, uh, people are gonna make some weird stuff, but uh, I'm just gonna give you guys the basics on how to do it, and uh, yeah, let's uh, get to it. Alright. First thing you want to do is you need to download four programs, or three, I mean you don't really need Audacity, but you need a uh, Wise Unpacker, go here, it's the, you search it's this one, by Vixtel, you go here, you go to this one, and then you download the zip file, and then you extract the zip file, you know what you're doing with that, I don't have to show you how to extract a zip file. How loud is the music by the way, I think it's too loud, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So basically, yeah, download this, extract the zip file, and uh, you've got Wise Unpacker. It should should look like well, it should look like this, and then this. Alright, so you've got a folder with game files and a folder with MP3. That's the only ones you got to worry about. Alright, and you've also got a unpacked MP3. So this is how we're going to get the audio from the game to see what we're changing. I've never listened to this song this far. Okay. But yeah, next thing I'm gonna need is BNK Editor. Make sure you're getting the one by Marie is my waifu. I never hoped I would never say that in my life, but uh yeah, not the Nexus one, that's two words, yeah, well the first one's one word, BNK editor. So go to here, it's another GitHub one, you wanna go straight here. If it doesn't have a release, you're on the wrong one. So you click here, and then download the jar. Just click that. And then you've got BNK editor. Awesome. I'm just gonna open it up. There it is. Uh, if it can't open, uh, if it doesn't have this little Java logo, it means you don't have the latest version of Java. Go get that. Go get Java. You have to download the latest version of Java, and then you can open it, and it should have this uh, logo on it. So yeah, this is what it'll look like. Yeah. Alright. So I'm, I'm gonna worry about these two ones next. This is just when you're making your audio. This is just for like the main first step. So let's go to the first step. Open Asset Studio GUI or Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, which is uh, this one. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Why is this taking so long? Yeah, this uh, UAB. Uh, I prefer to use Asset Studio for this though, because it's just easier. You want to go to your data files. I've just got all of here. Go audio. Choose the character you want to change. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Big Bad Foxy. Alright. Uh, get open the data file, and then you should see text asset. It, it won't be audio slash Big Bad Foxy. It won't be an asset file. It'll be a text asset. And, yeah. So just the one that's just the name. I should just let it look like something stupid. You know, can't really do anything with this. But this actually is the sound bank. So you want to export this uh, some way where you'll like remember it. I'm just gonna throw it in here. And then text asset. Look, there it is. So now you have a dot bytes file. All right. What do I do with this? Well, it's very simple. You want to change the file name. So, uh, you may not be able to do this. I think it's like a setting somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, here. Okay, so like in view, file name extensions. So now you'll be able to see the file name and you can change it. So we want to change it from .bytes to .bnk. Yes, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, so now I've got a .bnk file, we have to open it with bnk editor. Alright, this is going to allow us to change it. Where did I put it? Ah, I know where I put it. So now you see Big Bad Fox to bnk, it won't be Big Bad Fox obviously. But here we go, these are all of our audio files. Now, we can save all whims in a folder. I'm going to make a folder here, I'm just going to call it Big Bad Boy. Alright, you want to save all whims, and you want to save it into a folder somewhere. Um, this is just to help you know which ones you're changing. So yeah, I'm going to go play that boy, there we go, save. So now, there should be a ton of .wim files in here, and you'll see that the numbers match up perfectly to what these are. Now I have to take all of these, this is just so we know which ones we're changing. If you just want to change every single audio, you don't have to do this step, but like, why would you do that? You still need being catered though. 
Alright, now we want to go to our wise unpacker. I think I already had it open. Yeah, it did. Alright, and you want to go to game files, take all of the whims, and toss them in there. You don't have to worry about keeping them. The top one, change the top name to PCK or BNK. You only have to do this for the top one, not for the rest of them, because, you know, it'll, like, go, oh, this PCK, this one must also be a PCK, so it's weird. But yeah, so you want to go unpack, make sure your MP3 file is empty, the folder here, and unpack to MP3. It should do some random stuff. Make sure you name the top one to a PCK, otherwise this will go by way too quickly. You'll know it's done when you see a little tornado. There it is, watch out, it's the tornado. Uh, so just close this, and then go to game files, you can remove all these now, just delete them. Alright, and in mp3, we should have all of our mp3 files. Now we can listen to them. So I want to change Big Bad Foxy's idle sounds to be uh, just a random noise, so yeah. Let's listen to which one it is. So it's this one. Alright, so now we've got our number here, 97133, or whatever. Okay, so we'll see which one this is. 97133, there it is. So now we can go here to replace whim with, but we don't actually have any whims yet. So this is where we go into the second part. So we're going to need to download Ys, W-Ys, two Ys's. Go to download Ys on audiokinetic.com, and then download it. But, this is a very important step, you are going to need an Audio Kinetic account, it's perfectly free, don't worry about it, just gotta log in or whatever and make one. So I already have one, but you know, you have to make one. So once you do, that's all you really need to do, I think maybe you have to verify an email, and install it for your software. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we're also gonna need like an audio editing software, I use Audacity, so yeah, I'm gonna open Audacity now. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna close this now. Ooh. Alright, so let's make our sound. So, uh, I'm gonna do the workshop audio and I'm gonna make it sound like this. Perfect, awesome. I'm gonna put some effects on this, I'm gonna make it really reverby. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna, like, uh, pitch it up a little bit. Awesome. This is just, like, a personal preference, you don't have to do this. Perfect. Once you have your audio done, you want to export it as a WAV. It won't work as MP3 or OGG, you have to do WAV. W-A-V. And, uh, just save it somewhere. I'm just gonna save it as, a uh, big, bad, noise, dot, dot, WAV. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Awesome, now we've got our sound. You probably have to do this for multiple sounds usually, but you know, don't need to save that. Alright, so now we have to open Wise. So I just have it here, WYS Launcher. You should get this as well when you install it. Now it will ask you to log in, so you gotta do that. Now that now when you're logged in, yeah, there was a cut there, I forgot my password. But um yeah, you want to go to projects, fudge poopy, uh, and you want to, you know, just like make a new one. Uh, so I think you go to wise, and you go. So make sure you've got a wise version. You may have to install one. I think I had to do that, but then you go launch wise. Okay, I'm just going to go new. I'm going to name it uh, Big Bad. Just press OK. You know, to change any of that. Okay. Close. Alright, you want to go to sound banks. Actually, I think it's, uh... Yeah, where is it? Yeah, 
you have to go to import audio files. Here we go. And then get your audio files. So, uh, it's gonna go on my desktop here. What? Huh? Oh, I think I'm doing it wrong. Add files. There we go. Just press add files. Alright. Where's my dot wave? Big bad noise. Here we go. Import. And it should just appear in, I believe. Hmm, it should be somewhere here. I haven't done this in a while, so forgive me for this, but I'm very confused. There it is, so we'll Acto Mixer, and then there it will be. Alright, you can do stuff to it, you don't have to. I don't, re I don't recommend it. Uh, you go project, convert all audio files. See so yeah, just, it, just to explain, because it was a bit confusing there. You go import audio files, press add files, and then select a file and you click import. Then you have it, and you go project, convert all audio files. And go convert. Now you've got that. Awesome. Now, here's a bit of a confusing part. You gotta go find that now. So, it'll be like, uh... For like the wise thing. Uh, here it is. Locales. Nope. <laughs> Resources. Nope. Oh, I know where it is. It'll be in, um. Yeah, okay. It'll be in documents, usually. And then you gotta go look for, uh, what's these doing here? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you gotta look for Wise Projects, go to your project, go to, I believe it's Cache, SFX, there it'll be. Okay, there's your whim. Now, go put that somewhere where you'll remember it. Sorry, it's a little confusing, I've done this in a while. Uh, just chuck it on the desktop, that's where I'm gonna put it. Awesome, so that's Kieran Sinha, CEO of Olympics, eating a sandwich. Alright, um, yeah, so now that's done, I'm just gonna close this, it's too confusing. We have our whim. Now we're back in bank editor. Not that, close that, I don't wanna ever see it again. Alright, um, don't need wise anymore. Go to bank editor, and which one was it? Let's go listen again, because I forgot. That'll be in my wise unpacker. This. I believe it was this one. Yep, 97133, it'll be different for you, obviously. So 97133, okay. Replace when with, go to where you put that uh, file. There it is, open. Now I've replaced it, awesome. Now, uh, once you've made all your changes to the bank, you can go save bank as. I'm just gonna check it on my desktop again, I'm gonna call it uh, awesome big bad bank. Oh, good. Awesome, you now have your new bank. Alright. I'm gonna close that for now. Yeah! Now we have to change this. Oh, we have to change the, the file format. Oh, right, I think you have to add it, dot text. Oh, no, okay, so when you're saving the bank, save bank as, you wanna type it as dot b, okay? Yeah, that's something I've got to mention. Sorry about that. Save it. We have our .bnk. Now you have to change it to a .txt. I know I just tried to make a .bnk, but you had to do that. Alright, there it is. Ah, lovely. Alright. Now, open UAVE. Or whatever you use to mod. Yeah, it's UAVE. Right, you're not going to use anything else. Uh, go do the file you're going to change. So that was uh, my big bad audio. Big bad foxy. Alright, and then go to the text asset and go plugins, import from .txt, and select the txt we just made, which was the bank and we renamed it. Awesome. Now, of course, you have to save. Save. Uh, mod. Mod big bad audio. Awesome. Now we have to put that into our game. I just use this to do it, but you can do it however you want. I don't know how you do it. Just install the mod as you usually would. But put it
put into audio and then the file. I can't I can't reach it, so I have to <laughs> Where did I put it? Uh, oh, yeah, there's like mod pick bad audio. There it is. Okay. Awesome. Alright. I'm just gonna pop it up on the screen so we can hear our new mod that we just made. This has been a really, really confusing thing, I know. Alright. Oh, my game crashed. What the heck? Perfect. Alright. And there we go. Our mod is in. And it's going to repeat in 3, 2, 1. I don't know why you'd want that, but there it is. <laughs> Alright, and that's how you make an audio mod. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go over it again really quickly. Uh, export... <laughs> export the text asset. Rename it to a .bnk. Open it with bnk editor. Save all the WEMS. Open the WEMS in WY's unpacker. Put them all in the game files folder. Name the top one to a .pck. Uh, Run uh, unpack to mp3 uh, and then make your audio file, put it into wise, <laughs> import audio files, add files, your audio, and then OK, and then convert audio files, then go to documents, wise projects, your project, dot caches, sfx, get your WIM file. In BNK editor, replace the one you want to replace. You can check which one it is by listening to the audio files we made earlier. Uh, and then save BNK as a dot, and make sure to write dot BNK at the end of the file name. Then change it to a dot txt. <laughs> then put it back into the text asset, and you're done. <sighs> I know it's confusing, but you'll get used to it. I did, but then I forgot. Lol. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.